My name is Shuji, Japanese soba chef. Today, I would like to show you how to make dashi stock. First, dashi stock, it's one dashi. And uh, second, dashi stock, niban dashi. From uh, kelp and bonito flakes. I have a Japanese measuring cup, which uh, is 200 milliliter, 200 mil. And this is the big one cup, which is five times as this, one liter. 200 mil, five times, one liter. So one liter of water, I think this is the minimum I think amount of uh, water you can make dashi. Normally I make uh, more, you know, five liters, ten liters, because I run a Japanese soba noodle restaurant. Okay, with the uh, one liter water, you need to put in 10 grams of kombu from Hokkaido. There are many different kinds of uh, kombu grown in uh, Hokkaido, uh, farmed and also natural, natural kombu. Some grow up to 10 meters. So the ocean is like the, the forest and the hideaway place for the little fish you know, to raise offsprings. Anyway, so that's the kombu. <laughs> Uh, with, with this small amount of water, you need to have, you need to put, up, put it on a low, low heat, mm, low, and just allow at least, at least 10 minutes before near boiling point. And it's important that you, uh, you do not boil the kelp. So you just need to take, you need to take the kelp out just before boiling point. So it's been over 10 minutes now. So I, as you can see, I just turned it a little bit higher, you can see the bubble. Oh, it's coming up, it's almost 100. Take that out, take the combo out before a boiling point. So it is, see the small bubbles in the bottom of the saucepan and on the side, and the little, little bubbles will soon become bigger. That's a brisk boil, so before it starts, Boiling, brisk. Just, just a little bit. Ninety-seven, five, six. Ninety. Oops. Turn that off. <laughs> when you do this, so this good. The, the bowl's getting bigger, bigger. But before the boiling point, add it. Put it in. Now this is the time. The timing is very important. And just let it brisk, let it boil, brisk. And uh, toi, it's just a few seconds. Just pop that in. Turn off. That's it. And if there is any froth, it's not much froth. That means the the bonito flakes I bought is very fresh, freshly shaven. So I am lucky because I live closer to two bonito and uh, kelp shops. One is owned by my, my, by my auntie who is 94. Yeah, before you put the flakes in, bonito flakes in, make sure you turn off the the fan if you have it on. It's hot and muggy here today. 
Yep, September. It's the beginning of September. What's the anyway, it's hot. And as the bonito flakes goes down, uh, it's kind of a. It goes down. See, it goes down to the bottom. Then, then just uh, strain through a sieve. The now next um, I'll show you how to make a uh, second dash. To make a uh, second dash, even the she, you will need to have 500 milliliter of water, which is the half the amount of water that you we are just I have just used to make its bandash first dash. Half, 500. And just put the uh, the combo back that you have just used, that I have just used. And also put the um, put it back. The bonito flakes that I have just used to make ichiban dashi, first dashi. And then on on high heat, bring to a boil. And it, when it starts to boil, reduce heat to simmer, pop, 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 gently, simmer, 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 for seven to ten minutes and strain. And that's the second dashi. Now the second dashi uh, is boiling, so uh, it's boiling brisk, so I will just simmer, simmer and cook. Gently cook. Simmer. Okay, it's been uh, 10 minutes. Just take the uh, combo out. Oh, when making second dashi, you can you can leave the uh, uh, kelp. You can you can leave the uh, the combo in there and keep. Simmering, that's okay. Through the sip, strain, and this time you may squeeze. It's a little bit murky, and it's fun as you don't squeeze because you need the very pure and poorly, uh, pure and uh, clear dashi for it's fun dashi. You need to have a very clear. The best dashi to make a uh, clear soup, suimono, one mori soup, or tempura dipping sauce, or the, any other sauce, uh, or the ten, dashi maki tamago egg, uh, egg omelet, or steamed egg uh, savory, uh, chamomishi, and the list, go, list goes on and on. And the second dashi is a slightly murky because it's been boiling you know, with the kelp and the flakes that we use. So, so this uh, we use to cook vegetables, um, you know, for, for us, home cooking, it's good. This is my new uh, headband, whatever you call it. We call it Hachimachi. I'd like to be under the sea, in a I'm making dashi today, so I am wearing hachimaki with with the uh, kombu seaweed and a little fish in the sea. They sell during summer months many different kinds of hachimaki at the uh, 100 yen shop nearby Syria so every summer I go and buy some new uh, hachimachi this is hachimachi they're, they're very colorful they're, they're some of them are very cute so they're very nice very cool cool yeah I like I'll be back in the ocean <laughs>